Do you need to create a USB thumb drive with the Mac OS installer on it? We're going to do that right now. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Family Geekery, and today we're going to step you through all the steps you need to create a USB thumb drive with a bootable version of the Mac OS installer. Now you may need one of these installers if you upgrade the hard drive in one of these MacBooks and you have a NVMe drive that doesn't have the drivers loaded into the web installer so you need to create a boot disk and that's what we're going to show you how to do. So the first thing we're going to need of course is a USB drive. This one is a 64 gigabyte but anything larger than 16 gig will work. So once you have that we're going to plug it in And the first thing we need to do is format this so that the Mac will be able to install the installer on there. So we're going to go up to the search here and we're going to type in disk utility. Once you find disk utility, click on that. You will see the USB disk here. We're going to click on that. We're going to hit erase. You can give it any kind of name you want. And make sure you format that as a Mac OS extended. So once you hit erase, it's going to format that drive and get it ready for us to use with the installer. Now that's complete. We can ignore the recommendation about Time Machine and we are done with Disk Utility. The next thing we need to do is download the actual installer. So we're going to go into the App Store here. We're going to search for Mac OS. We're going to scroll down until we find the version that we want. In this case, at the time of recording, the Mac OS Monterey is the newest version. So let's view that. Click on Get. And then we want to download it. So you can see it's a large install, 12 gigabytes in this case. So it's going to take a little while to download, and I'll catch up with you when that's done. Okay, now the installer is finished downloading and this is going to pop up saying hey do you want to install this now but we don't want to do that we want to install it later so there is no close button on this window but if you go up to this install menu here install Mac OS and click quit you can get out of there so we'll hit quit on that we can close out our software update and close out the App Store and we're ready to take that new download that we just downloaded and install it onto our USB drive and make it a bootable installation drive. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Finder and we're going to find what we just downloaded in the application folder. So we're going to scroll down until we find install Mac OS Monterey. We're going to right click on that, click on show package contents. You'll find a single folder in there called contents. We're going to open that up and we're going to open up the folder called resources and we're going to find this file right here that says create install media just single click on that and wait for the next step so the next thing we need to do is going to be some work in the terminal but don't worry it's really easy so we're going to click on the search bar here type in terminal once we find that we're going to open it up we're just going to drag this down a little bit we're going to type in sudo, S-U-D-O, hit space, and we're going to take this file that we had highlighted here, and we're going to drag it right into the terminal. And you're going to see it copied the location of that file. Then we're going to just simply hit space, and there's just one thing left to do. At the end of the command that we're building up here, we're going to type dash dash volume, space again 
And now we're going to take the drive here that we have formatted correctly, and we're going to drag that into the terminal window. And you can see it copied the location of that volume. Now if you didn't find your USB drive sitting on the desktop like mine is, all you got to do is simply go back to your finder window, go up into the search bar, type in volumes, you'll see a folder named volumes, double click on that, and here you'll find all your drives. And here's the USB drive that we created. So once you get all that set up, we can go back to the terminal window, and this is waiting for us to hit enter on. And once you hit enter, it's going to ask for your password. So I'll type in my super secret password, hit enter. It's going to say, hey, we're going to erase, erase this drive right here. Are you sure? You're going to hit yes, hit enter, and it's going to start erasing it, and it's going to start formatting it, and it's going to create that bootable drive for you. Give it access to the removable volume, and then just sit back and let it create the boot disk. All right, now the copying is finished. In the terminal window, we can see that it's finished 100%. It did take quite a time, so make sure you have plenty of time to do this. But now that that's done, we can close the terminal window, and we can right-click and eject our disk and set that aside until we're ready for it. Also, now that that's done, if you don't need to create that disk again, we can go ahead and get rid of the installation program. So we can head over to our Applications folder, right-click on the installation program, and move that to Trash. Alright, now that we've got the hard drive installed in our computer, and we've got our boot disk that we created with the Mac OS installer, we're ready to fire this thing up. So we're going to press power and then hold down option. And that's going to allow us to install Mac OS. Now the first thing we have to do once we get into the installer before we actually install the Mac OS is to go into the disk utility. We need to make sure that that new drive is there and it's formatted correctly. So we can see here the 500 gigabyte NVMe drive. And we're going to need to erase that. We can give it a name. The default for the format and the scheme are fine. Click erase. And this will format it in the correct format that the Mac OS installer can install onto. So now that that's done, we can close Disk Utility, and we're ready to install the Mac OS. So we'll select Install Mac OS, hit Continue, and this will step us through the installation onto our new hard drive. We just have to agree to some terms. And we can see here is our brand new Mac HD that I just named. We can select that and install. It's going to warn us that it's not connected to a power source. Of course, if you have a low battery, you would want to plug that in. And we're just going to let this go ahead and copy the files over and start installing the operating system. And now with the installation program loaded, we'll just sit back and allow it to install. And here we are in the installation program. After about a half an hour of copying files and installing, we're here to answer a couple more questions. So let's step through these questions. And I'm going to say not now because I want a brand new installation. And I'm going to set up my Apple ID later. But if you had an Apple ID, you would type that in here and give it a password. More license agreement. 
we'll give our MacBook its first account. And give it a real strong password. Enable location services. Share with developers. And we're going to set up screen time later. I always turn off Ask Siri to begin with, and if I want to add it on later, I add it on through the settings. I'm going to set up Auto for the look. And here we are. It's a brand new operating system. Let's go ahead and check out our new hard drive. And there it is, 500 gigabyte SSD. We can eject this USB drive now. And it's all done. So there we go, we have successfully installed Mac OS from a thumb drive onto a brand new hard drive. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you learned a lot. Hope you learned what you came here to find out. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. It sure does help our channel out a lot. And if you like this type of content, hit the subscribe button too and become one of our subscribers. Be sure to check out our Family Geekery podcast. We put out new episodes every Tuesday. We cover everything geeky from computers to comics to TV shows to video games. Everything you could want. So thank you again for watching. And until next time, peace out and geek out.